Hey yo, is he King Fight News? Pound for pound champion, Earl Spence. And we're gonna get Sean Porter, Earl Spence on pay-per-view. And that's according to Sean Porter himself. He's looking to take on Earl Spence Jr. in a unification fight. And y'all know what it is. He can't fight these. We got more on this. That's right. Let's get it. Sean Porter, step up. Take on the man who wants all the smoke, Earl Spence Jr. Why not? Why not get this fight in? Uh, it's been It's been literally two years in the making. It's been literally two years in the making to try and get this fight. And we might finally get it in 2019. According to Sean Porter, he's saying he's got Earl Spence next on pay-per-view. So let's see what he had to say. It's E-King Fight News. All right, y'all see the headline. Sean Porter says he's fighting Earl Spence next on pay-per-view. All right, so this is a quote from Sean Porter. I think we got Earl Spence next. We'll see. Oh yes, it's a pay-per-view. You see now I can box. I box pretty well against Adrian Granados, against Danny Garcia. He expected me to come after him for 12 rounds. I boxed him for six or seven rounds. And then it turned it on from there. I used aggress effective aggression against him. Against Earl Spence, I have to be 100% and I know I have what it takes to do it. I'm already back in the gym. I'm doing everything it takes to get ready for when that call comes for the fight. I'll be prepared because I understand how big an opportunity this is, not just from a pressure standpoint, but from everything I'm going to be putting into getting prepared. So we all know. He had a very controversial fight against your Dennis Ugas. And this, this publication, Boxing News 24, had Ugas winning 116-112. Porter not being able to conclusively beat Ugas suggests that he's not going to do well against Spence, no matter what he says to the boxing media. Oh, snap. So they're keeping it 100 over here. And you know what? I absolutely agree. I mean, he tried to switch up his style. He tried to implement more of a back foot boxing style. And that simply didn't work. It simply didn't work against your Dennis Ugas. Ugas stared him down and landed cleaner, more telling blows throughout the whole fight. I mean, look at Sean Porter's face. Look at his face. This is after the fight. This dude's lumped up <laughs> completely, completely. But you know what? Earl Spence, he knows that's a real tough fight. You know, regardless of uh, what Earl Spence, uh, what Sean Porter brings to the table, Earl Spence to me is the better inside fighter. He's the better outboxer if he wants to be, and I think he's the be he's a better fighter in both domains. So I think for Sean Porter, he needs to bring back the old Sean Porter, man. He needs to bring back the old Sean Porter because you're not going to outbox Spence. We saw Spence outbox, quote unquote, one of the better pound for pound fighters um, that a lot of people had top five in Mikey Garcia. So is Sean Porter going to be able to outbox Earl Spence? I'd be shocked. If he were to do that, but I think that was part of his game plan, and that's why he implemented the style that he did against your Dennis Ugas because he planned on having more of a boxing approach going into his next fight against Earl Spence Jr. I mean, that's what fighters do. If they suddenly change their style, they're preparing themselves for something down the road, and I think Sean Porter's something. You know, 
in the back of his head knows, you know, I can't run from Earl Spence any much any lo any longer. He can't do it. Otherwise, he would be the laughing stock of the boxing world. So hey, it looks like Sean Porter is finally stepping up. It's about time. It's about time he finally stepped up to the challenge and take on Earl Spence. Um, I, ha I have a feeling why he's doing it right now. Obviously, he wanted to he, he wanted to get paid to take this L that he's gonna have to hold. He he wanted to get paid the max amount possible if he was gonna step in there with Earl Spence, and that's likely what's gonna happen. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. It's E King Fight News. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and for more boxing, y'all know what, what it is. Y'all remember where you heard it first. E-King fighting.